Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You are watching Tricky Solution channel, and today we are going to uh, learn to write a program which is about to print the three given numbers in ascending order using nested if else. In this program, first the first is we have to uh, we have to accept the three values from the user side and we have to store it in a variable and then second uh, second is we have to uh, we have to arrange it in ascending order with the help of nested if else and the third thing is we are going to print the values of variable in increasing order means the if the value is 2 5 uh, 2 5 3 then the increasing order is 2 3 5 we are going to use it uh, use it in this uh, uh, this way so firstly we have to declare the three variables which is nothing but int a comma b comma c so these are the three variables which i have to uh, which i have to tell i have to accept it from the user side so we have to print the statement like print uh, print f enter value of a firstly we have to enter the value for a then we have to accept this value from the user side so scan f person d and uh, ampersand a so this we have to do for three times for a b and c So here A have to replace with the B variable so and it is for the C variable. So uh, I am mentioning coming here this is for, for uh, accepting values accepting three variables these lines is for to accept in three variables from user side from user side and after that we have to arrange it in a ascending order so arrange it in ascending order So let's do the arrangement. So after that, print f uh, slash n and uh, values are in ascending. order are values in ascending order are so we have to apply the conditions here so if if a is less than b we have to check the if a is less than b and a is less than c then b is less than c means the middle value is b so we have to check the a is less than b or the a is less than c and the third condition is the b is less than c let's check 
uh, if a is less than b and uh, if b is less than c and if uh, if uh, sorry here a is less than uh, we have to compare a first with the two another variable then b with c then print f person d person d and person d the values like a comma b comma c and if this condition is not satisfied if the b is not uh, less than c then the else part will else print f we have to print the person d person d and person d a then c then b we have to print it in this order which is a then c then b if uh, if b is not less than c if b is not less less than c then obviously b is greater than c so that's why we have to print it like so the a then b then, uh, then c then b and after after executing this so the second else is else else and in second else the value is goes like um, print f person t Person D, person D, then value is goes like uh, first value is print C, then A, then B. Second condition is A is less than C. Uh, sorry yeah uh, here c a b yeah if the a is less than c then we have to print the values like c then a then b and for the third else is else print f uh, sorry uh, in else condition we have to write the two another condition which is if b is less than c and if a is less than c then what we have to do print f person d person d and person d with the values of b c uh, sorry b a and then c
hope you are getting the logic then in else part print f print f and within print f I have to print a message like first the B then A and uh, sorry first B then C and then A if B is less than C uh, and for the another if condition the else part is like else print f percent d percent d percent d with this value of c then b then a so our program is ready to run let's see it again so firstly I have accept the values from the user side which is the value of A, B and then C. If the value, if the first the values are accepted from the user side then a condition R goes in under checking. So the first condition is A less than B and second is A less than C and the third is B less than C. If the first condition, if this condition is true, then and only then the console which goes into this condition and then this condition. If this condition is satisfied, then print the value of A, B and C. If this value, if B is not, not less than C, then value is print like, then value is print like the B is greater than C, means A, C and B. If the uh, if a is uh, less than c, then value if a is less than c, then if this condition is not satisfied, then the else part will go goes under checking. Uh, so c, b, a, and b values are go going to print. And if this condition are not satisfied, which is a is less than b, then else part is if b is less than c then a is less than c if the a is less than c then we have to share we have to print if b is less than c and a is less than c then we have to print like b then a and then c means b is also less than c and a is also not uh, not here only a is less than c not a b is less than c and in else part the b is uh, so the a is less than c and in here b is less than c for b is less than c is the print like c is less than b not a b is less than c so Hope you are getting the logic. Let's run the code for checking purpose. I'm also little bit confused in this program. So let's check it what it will give us the answer. I forget to write semicolon here and here also. Uh, yeah all perfect so run code uh, enter values in any order that you want so I have entered which is 45 and then 21 and then 89 so the value 
printed in increasing order the first value print n here the b then a then c b a and c let's check which condition is satisfied yeah this condition if a is less than c a is less than c yeah of course b is also less than c yeah of course b uh, first the b is uh, less than c and then a is less than c then this condition is satisfied which is b a c means our program is in under this condition is in under this condition so let's check it again with the other values let's take some small values uh, 5 3 1 it checks 1 3 5 means C B and A yeah this condition C B A means B is less than C and A is also less than C then the else part is executed this so hope you like the content and if you like the content then do like share comment and also hit the subscribe button thank you